Don't do that. <laughs> Any of the good stuff. Um, like the green Project Pack crack? No, I mean the... Pod, the Project Pack crack? The, yeah. the, the Polish shot you did. Polish shot? No, I'm, I'm being serious. I'm, dude, I'm not fucking with you. Like, what are you talking about? You, it was like a yellow... Sh- you had one. Oh yeah, no, I don't have that. Is that and the actually Kogli Mowgli? Yeah, yeah, Kogli. Or Advocat? Advocat, yeah. I was gonna make it, but I don't have money, man. I, uh, what, what do you need for the ingredients? Yeah, I Russell, hook you up. Well, here's the thing. I was gonna play a trick on you guys because I thought I had the right uh, vodka. Um, but but vodka. It, all you had was vinegar. But I I had Russian Stolichnaya, which is not Stolichnaya. Vo- it's just vodka. You, and then there's spiritus, mm-hmm. like, you know what that is? Mm-hmm. Ninety six percent. Have it? It's it's at Tony's Market, but um, I'm not gonna. I don't have m- money for that. How much is it? It's like fifteen to twenty. Next and, time I come over, I'll buy it. I, I can. Do oh it. man! I will mix it for you. I was gonna mix it for Christmas for everybody. And Ross, it's a trap. Don't do it. Spiritus will fuck you up. I know. <laughs> I had it. What was that at the at, at White Boys uh, pa- uh party? And once again, you're not talking to the mic. At white, at white boys' um, party, I did like that one sh- Polish shot, and I I, I fed out and had flames, uh, flames. Oh, that was at white boys. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember. We're, we're Here, on. hold on one second before we get rolling. Lean back, because I know you're gonna lean. And I will set this up perfectly. Oh, it's good for my back. Get him in the teeth. Get him in the teeth. M- most of my f- teeth are fake. Well, the these front ones are. Uh, Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Sure. Yeah, well, yeah. There was a party when his girlfriend faked a lesbian scene. Wait, what? Uh, White boy's White boy's girlfriend, who is a whore. Right. She um she was offering to eat another girl out in front of them for like a dollar. I thought it was for like twenty. Well. They charge you twenty dollars, and everybody else had to pay a dollar. No, it was a dollar. I remember. Okay, <laughs> that's the way I. So was it money. nice? No, was it, it was, was it no, fun? It was in the thoughts. I think they were faking it. If it, it was like, oh yeah, we're paying money to see you you go down a chick, but it was in the fucking the dark. Sure. So how, how how do you know that you know you did? They, well, to be fair, white boy's uh, girlfriend. Uh, I kind of don't think she looked good. I thought so she was <laughs> all right, but I was every time and, I saw her, the, I was drunk. Sorry. And, the, and then uh. And then the f- the person she was eating out kind of looked like she lived in a dumpster. Ooh, so, just all right, man. So they're the saying w- w- what? I think I had beer goggles, g- um, glasses then. Oh, beer goggles for sure. <laughs> uh, oh, we're gonna eat each other out. Let's turn the lights off and everyone wear these blindfolds, and give yeah. us twenty dollars each. Yeah, man. Well, we are rolling. Hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing, homies. What's going on, dude? It's episode. 19, 20? Uh, yeah, 19. Something, yeah. It's our Christmas special. Christmas is, what, like two days away? Yep. That's pretty exciting. It depends on what day you celebrate. Uh, my family, we celebrate on Christmas Eve. <laughs> then, then you're, that, that's Christmas Are Eve. Are Jewish? No, it's a Catholic thing. Oy vey, welcome. Uh, it's a Catholic thing. Yeah, but... No, I know. My but mom, the my day of Christmas... Shit, yeah. Chris, mom, it doesn't change. Like, it's still Christmas Day is the 25th. Yeah. You're just not doing anything on it. No, that's our hangover day. That's uh. Do you look forward to it every year? Hangover day? Is that a tradition? For me, it is. What do you drink Christmas Eve with the Rubinos? What don't we drink? <laughs> well, a it's of, a lot of beer and a lot, lot of like urine. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Anything on the cover of that Piss Grave album? I don't get the reference. What's on the cover of the Piss Grave album? Uh, I was trying to figure it out, <laughs> and I read an article about it. Yeah, they were not allowed to show the whole photo. I'm guessing. Because uh, when I saw the whole photo, it's I don't even think they have a page. They have a Piss Grave fans page. Okay. And it showed a photo of, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Piss Grave is a... Christian uh, band. Uh, yeah, yeah. Christian gospel. It's it, Yeah, it's kind of like a Creed. But, um, oh. but, um, and they, uh, they, um, but not as metal as Creed. No, a, a little, yeah. Yeah, yeah a little, like softer. Yeah. and th- But they had, um, it was a photo of, I think, like an Asian guy who was ball gagged. <laughs> in a bathtub, <laughs> and um, they pretty much shat and pissed on him till his death. Is it? Is what? what? Like, yeah, like his arms are rotted off. I mean, when you look at the cover, it looks like a chicken leg covered in diarrhea, but it's actually a like a human leg. That's fun. That's nice. Yeah. That's 
They 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 kind of um uh your brother <laughs> recommended it to me. My brother. Yeah. And um he, I I'm like holy shit this kind of outdoes mayhem. Yeah, sure. <laughs> suicide sink, you know. All right. Can you not tell any secrets? Because he says a sexy, Shh, sexy this, man. It's a Bill Ross thing. Butt out, Phil. Since every time I try to pack <laughs> my cigarettes, I just dent them. I think you guys, you're actually asking about a different kind of fudge packing. Man, whisper to Bill. I think if the mic is catching this, it's going to sound weird. Yeah. Well, I got great news. Especially when you got your hand under the table. Right, yeah. I got great news for all the fellow fans. Um, <sighs> uh, I'm finally going to be your uncle next to you. <gasps> Finally, our prayers have come true. Yep, for me it is. Are you gonna be the weird uncle that walks around naked? No, I'm gonna be the metalhead who, who's gonna, who's gonna be drunk all the yeah, time. Yeah, that buys your niece all the cocaine she wants. I don't even know how to get cocaine. Sure. Dude, yeah. I take a bunch of shitty medic medication. That, I just Do you shoot it, it up ever? Uh, here we go. Again. Uh, right no, up the like nose. In, like in your okay, I, I learned something. What to say? Shut the fuck up, Phil. Yeah, there you oh, go. Man. I haven't heard that in years, dude. Oh Nostalgia, God! Man. Merry Pounded. Christmas, everyone! It's so nice to have us yeah. all together again. This you, is, this is great. You know, so, oh, Ro- Ross, that really means a lot to me. I, I haven't heard "shut the fuck up" in a while. Um, thank you. I just told you I'm so medicated. This is shit. This controls my uh, ego, you know. So no, I'm being serious. I like it. It, it reminds me of old times, yeah. right? Just the nostalgia. Yeah, it's Christmas. I am. I'm not fucking around. I am being serious. Well, I, I am 33. I am, you know. I doubt it. Says you can't say shut the fuck up, Phil. I just don't have the urge anymore. You don't piss me off with much anymore. Really? Yeah. Man, that's well, we all get old. That's a yeah. compliment. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, I don't know. I I just think in Phil, in Phil's own way, he's gotten more mature, but he still does the same shit. Wait, really? You think you think Phil's gotten more mature? Well, he he's. He, I think I've gotten more mature. I think maybe just Ross doesn't spend that much time with you. I don't know. Well, he yeah, does. He might be ball gagged and had diarrhea right. on you in a bathtub. Oh, well, classic well. Christmas Eve at the Rubinos. <laughs> well, he does live uh, quite a ways from me. I, I wish I could see, hang out with him more, but it doesn't always work out. Sure. What did they say? Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Uh, yes, they say that. That did not work with say nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, double check that we're recording on both sides. Oh God. <laughs> we should do this before no, <laughs> before the episode. Good. All right. Great. Uh, but uh. Yeah, I don't know. Right, um, so what's Christmas like with the Lasitskis? What's Christmas? Um, Do you have Christmas plans? Let's see. We listen to a shitload of depressing opera music, <laughs> and it's the same kind every year. That so kind you're, of, you're over at your mother's? Uh, yeah. it's uh, It kind of works on me like the Ludovico treatment in Clockwork Orange. You know, when he when he goes nuts, when <laughs> he hears Beethoven. That's kind of how it works. It's every year. Andrew Bocelli, Time to Say Goodbye, is definitely on that <laughs> playlist, you know? Sure. Everything have to be Italian. Everything have to be Italian. And that's the only song on the playlist, just that over and over it, and over? Honestly, it has been, yeah. So that sounds nice. Are you going to do anything with Kelly's family? Yeah. Um, Are they coming for the opera sensation? Do you guys do like a combined Christmas? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm glad Kelly's going to be there because um, I'll have someone to talk to that isn't out of their mind. Right. And Robert is such a prude. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, um, I mean, uh, Kelly's family, uh, she's got a cunty grandma, so it's always fun to fuck with her. Ooh. Especially, <laughs> I mean, I, she's, kinda, she, uh, she's quite racist, so I'm going to love when she sees my, my cornrows and my face tattoo. In what way is she racist? It does a uh, she's like super... Uh, like old school Americanized, He's like oh, so y- y- you're Polish? Oh, the, the the hard workers, the hot because she's from Jersey. Oh, um, I maybe I should meet her. I could do Jersey, dude. She, I mean, her face looks like my nutsack. I don't even want to know what it looks like. It looks down there. Is like, she coming and to the wedding? It's like a chicken wing stretched out. You know. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know if we're invited. You haven't decided. Does Kelly uh, want her there? Does Kelly remember her fondly? Like, oh, sweet grandma. Grandma Snooky. We kind of have this, um, I got to learn this through her family. We kind of have this game where everybody knows secretly that we're trying to get as much free food as possible and get the fuck out of there <laughs> to play <laughs> board games at either our house or the par- or her parents' house. Okay. Because everybody hates her. So wait, we're, you go over to the grandma's? Yeah, yeah. We go there. She likes to criticize everyone. So I'm just not serious. You know, like, oh, so what do you do? Huh? Yeah, you, you, you're a welder? Yeah. I'm like, no, actually... Um, I'm thinking of being a superhero slash um, mumble rapper, you know. Yeah. And um, oh, you don't say. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got a good one. You got a good catch here, Kelly. No, like sh- <laughs> <laughs> Love <Sorry>. the hair. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <dude. laughs> Love the hair. So does does, does he go to Jersey Shore ever? He'll grandma back in the day. I I don't know, man. I, I haven't asked those type of questions. You're not See, that this close is why him? I don't let you babysit Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> he's take up a question. Yeah. He you doesn't know what Jersey. You ever go to Jersey Shore, Gavin? <laughs> he never. He doesn't know what the hell. Back Jersey's when they used to wear speedos. You know? He doesn't know what yeah. Jersey Shore is, or does he? I, I don't know, but I don't think that would stop you from asking that question. Gavin loves his uncle Ross. Yeah, he does. And I don't see enough of him. I, I love that kid. How do? Oh. Or what were no, you gonna say? I was gonna ask. Is it mutual? Does Gavin love his uncle Ross? I don't know. Uncle RJ. He he says you're annoying. Ah, oh. he used to like me. Well, he says you're annoying, man. Oh, he's so. at you when you when you try to play uh, Jack in the Box and you ask him, you know, random questions. He's like, I'm trying to play. I, I now I'm getting now I'm getting emotional, man. Well, you know, what's, I mean, once you get that beer, we pretty much leads <laughs> you, to that. You know, you know, those, well, we're kind of waiting for it. You, you know, know, these kids are brutal nowadays. Yeah, and it's a difficult age she's at, so yeah. I wouldn't take it personally, Ross. I don't, I don't, I don't understand kids. No, does I don't it, think anyone does. Is, uh, is everybody getting what they want on Christmas, or uh, hopefully, anybody got any requests they want? I, uh, my Christmas list is really lame this year. Because I just wanted like a lot we're of adults. Well, maybe I just moved out earlier this year, so I just wanted a lot of like domestic shit. Like, hey Santa, bring me a colander. Hey Santa, I want an electric kettle. Santa, new bed sheets, please. Yeah. And so that's like all that was on my list. And I don't know. New bed sheets, huh? You got some piss grave shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> you got a, you got a um, bed <laughs> juice on it. So oh, tons of that. But uh, so when I got my furniture for the apartment. I bought it all off of one of my coworkers, uh, her mother-in-law, who is in her 80s. Yeah. And so I bought like the bed spring and like the mattress and the headboard and shit just from her. It came with the mattress and the sheets that she used. Yeah. So like I don't know how many generations of of children have been, you know, uh, the, I'm sure that that mattress could still tell some stories yeah you know so i think it's time that the old school mites <laughs> <that right? laughs> you, when, exactly when you got that did you did you think of how old it is or, you know make sure it is uh could have free and no nah, I, I don't know it's like what a hundred bucks for this a dining room set a nightstand and, and like so much more like i don't care how, how they that look sounds great I, I, I don't know fine i guess phil how do they look how does I, my I, furniture? I mean, nothing looks shitty. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah, it's like hard wooden shit. Um, it's decent. So I, I uh, side note, um, I rolled two cigarettes of a plant that I grew. Not going to mention what plant, but it didn't bud, and so I rolled up leaves. And I think it's like a healthy cigarette. It's not. <laughs> it's not making me high, but it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm smoking something. Yeah. It. Uh, I didn't think it tasted that great. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> How would you describe it? I think it smells a little like clove cigarettes to me. I it tastes a little bit, a, a little actually grassy. You know? I thought it tasted like very earthy, very yeah, very grassy, and that's that's like how kind of how good cigars taste. I think. No? <laughs> I, maybe I'm just so used to menthol, yeah, yeah, or like actual, uh, you know, herbal remedies. Yeah, that's yeah. just like what the fuck is this? Yeah. But you enjoy. It. Are you still smoking it? No, I finished both. <laughs> no, did you, yeah. you chain smoke those? I I, I smoke both of them at the same time, double barrel. Oh you know? man, you're a bad boy. So, so uh, uh, anybody anybody out there can comment on Phil's new hairstyle. I think it looks yeah. awesome. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, I think it looks pretty badass. It, I mean, it, I did it kind of. It wasn't a joke. I, it was one of my bucket list things. Like uh, cornrows. Yeah. So it was a Christmas present to yourself. Pretty much, yeah. Because, I mean, everybody's spending a shitload of money, and I'm broke, but I don't know. I wanted I wanted to get them, man. I wanted my whole life. And you got them. You kind of you can't move your eyebrows at all because your whole <laughs> scalp moves. Is it, like, that tight? Like, it, is no, it? it really is, dude. I, I Dude, it was so funny because um, the place that I went to, so I, I got a ring tattoo for my, for my wedding. I went to this place, Color 3, which Chris, the comedian bong hat, on <laughs> is that his middle name? No, that's his last Chris name. Chris the Comedian. No, the oh, yeah, comedian. yeah. They had the Comedian. Yeah. Chris the Comedian Bongat. 
Well, um, well, for anybody who doesn't remember, but sure. uh, yeah, he uh, he recommended this place, Color Theory in Lombard, which they were fucking great. Um, and right next door, there's a place called Fatima's African Braiding. I was definitely the only white guy there, and everybody was like, "This guy is totally fucking with us." Was it busy? Like, were there a lot of people in there? There, I mean, it was like as average busy as any other barber shop. You know, like five people. Okay. Out of like well, 10, that's good. Good know? for them. And uh, yeah, they um. There was a girl oh, when I came when I came in because uh, I came there I, I, I went two weeks ago and I just asked them like can you do this and I showed them a picture of Jeff Ross <laughs> and they're like oh yeah we'll do that and um, I, while I was getting my hair done one of the owner's daughters was there she took a day off from school and her hair was like real nappy mm. it, I mean it looked like old dirty bastard or something <gasps> is that Fatima's daughter I think it was and um, she was screaming in pain. <laughs> and I was desperately grasping my chair, trying to be the tough guy because I was ready to cry as well. Were you? Did it hurt that bad? It, it does hurt, dude. Uh, it, it, it hurt. It, it hurt. F- it hurt twenty times more than the tattoo. So it's also a pretty it's, small it's, tattoo. You know? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I heard fingers are like the most painful. I believe that, like right on the bone. Yeah, fingers and uh, toes. Ribs. I've heard ribs are pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know, but uh, yeah, it worked out. So yeah, quick shout out to our sponsor, Fatima's African Hair oh, Rating. Oh yeah, um, they actually took listening. a video of me. Did they? Yeah, because they wanted to like promote like that they yeah. whatever they did. Whites so. are welcome too. Yep. <laughs> so way Just to go. Don't wear dashiki here. <laughs> <laughs> don't you, you fucking dare. You see my hair pretty long, right? It, it gets kind of like pretty long, pretty poofy. You mean? Yeah. Can, can you still get a call like that? Yeah. What do, what do you think the black people do? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it looks cool, but I don't know if I, I, I could pull it off. Like you look like a damn stud. Oh man, it sounds. I like, look like a stud. Yeah. Sounds like our advertising. For First, you're saying you're getting is emotional, working. and now you're saying I'm a stud. I am right? a emotional. I don't like where person. this is going, man. Bill, you should get. You should get oh. what, what's next, Ross? I, I know. Are you gonna call me baby, and that it's cold outside? Because it's not that Ooh. cold. Ooh, baby. <laughs> I don't want to be in between this. <laughs> There's something horrifyingly magical happening. It always yeah. is. It always is. It, it never stops. Our friendship's been up and down, but it's been good for us. In between this physically or uh, like verbally? No, oh, that's always good. Everybody yeah. knows the stories of, 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 of Dieter Bosco in the past. Sure. Which, Which we're not going to talk about. But no. most of it was bullshit. Some of it was bullshit. Yes. Uh, uh, was it bullshit? Yeah, I don't I don't know if it was bullshit. I think that what I said... Uh, you know, every time you go on here, it's like a new episode of Judge Mathis, but like over and over again, the same person defending themselves. <laughs> yeah. Because you may be, uh, I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> so uh, I saw. Court adjourned. Uh, I saw on Facebook that Guilty you, <laughs> you want to go to see uh, it, the guy from Insomniac. Oh, I, yeah. D- uh, Dave Attell, he's coming to town. Oh, nice. So is, uh, dude, I don't know, the same day and the same place, the improv in uh, Schomburg actually. The same day, three people got released that they're coming. Fucking Dave Attell, Bobby Lee, and Marlon Wayne's. Really? So that's kind of that, I, that I, is cool. I don't Yo, know. They're going to be so pissed off. Are they going to be like, "Oh, nice, you're going to this Chicago comedy club"? Yeah. yeah. They're going to be like, uh, "It's in fucking Schaumburg." Yeah. Uh, this. I so I was asking, you want to go to see Dave? I, yeah, if I got enough money. To because I, I definitely was a fan of that show. He's a funny guy. Yeah, He's he got is. a. I mean, Jeff Ross have a double special on Netflix now. I don't know it's who Jeff Ross is. He's the he's the roast master general on uh on all the roasts. He's the best roaster. But uh, he has a it's 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 cool as fuck. It's three episodes and they improv of just roasting the crowd. That's cool. So I don't know. I I never seen a comedy thing like double team. You know. Yeah. And they have some pretty funny guests, like Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> he's like almost dying. Poor, he's, he? he's 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 coming too. Is the he? Chicago Improv? Yeah, the so, Chicago Improv. Yeah, in Schaumburg. Yes, and uh, they had like Bruce Willis, and they roasted the fuck out of him in the crowd. I don't know. Uh, but, but wait, uh, go back. Gilbert Gottfried is, is dying. Well, I mean, he's always been kind of hunched, and now he's just slower and more frail. So that hunch oh. does, you know. Poor guy. He's he, a legend. He was on uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark episode. Are you a big <laughs> fan of Are You Afraid of the Dark? <laughs> that was probably the scariest one. <laughs> he, 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 did a, he did an episode where his voice was very low. <laughs> really? Was, yeah. I, I did like uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark. Can you do an impression of him? Yeah. How did he sound? I don't remember. I haven't seen it in 20 years. Okay. 
Ah. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so speaking of these cigarettes, I um, I think I mentioned an episode before about the uh, the marijuana medical card process. And I, I think that's been a topic. Yeah, yeah, and I've updated that there's no fucking way I'm doing it. Really? It's a fucking ripoff. Why? Complete ripoff, dude. Holy fuck. So here's what they told me. that, I mean, so let me tell you my uh, goal or motive in yes. this is that I, I love CBD. It helps with my epilepsy. It helps with my anxiety. So, But I love cigars, so I want to get Charlotte's Web is the strain that they use for CBD, I want to be able to smoke that because I like cigars. And I don't like vaping. I, I literally, every time I vape, I get sick. Okay. And so... And wait, that's how you can get it now? You can get CBD as like oil or whatever? Yeah, but yeah. You can get it as... Oil is... Uh, it's actually two days ago. It's been legalized uh, like all of United States. Huh. So... I, is that true? Yeah. It's so what's the and, and Oregon is working on being the first state to legalize mushrooms. So what's the problem with... Uh, Piece of oil and what you do. Why is it oil legal and like because oil, oil doesn't affect you mentally or well, and also CBD is different from THC. Yeah, and it's THC and CBD. THC gets you fucked up. CBD relaxes your body. Kind of like what like yeah. the muscle relaxers I take. Yeah, yeah. Except it's natural and not addictive. Yeah, and you smoke it instead of putting it right up the old nose. I don't. Or, or you put it under your tongue. Or you could like me. I'm not kidding. Last night, I don't. I fucking hate taking aspirin. I rubbed CBD all over my cornrows, and the pain went away. Mm. It doesn't. L- literally, like, or or if you have, uh, I don't know, like your t- swollen tonsils, you can rub it there on your neck, and it'll go away. It it works. But, anyways, so you want to get the Charlotte's Web? <coughs> I want to get the Charlotte's Web to smoke. And oh, the funniest thing, like you don't judge a book by its cover. Because the, the office that they had was a chiropractic office in fucking uh, uh, Naperville, which, for anybody who doesn't know, is a rich-ass fucking town. I think it's the second biggest city in Illinois. Yeah. And after they, uh, Chicago. They, um, they, everybody, like, I go in the office, and there's, like, a woman who's, like, twitching, who looks like a meth head. Then there's, like, a complete, like, wigger guy who, lo- I mean, it's Okay, Eminem. hang on. How long ago was this? This was last week. Okay. All right. So it's I, not like you've yeah. been through the process and now you're looking back it's like oh there are all these warning signs oh no I mean, whoa what warning what, what warning signs like weird twitchy lady and oh yeah, yeah well no it, but then there was like a yuppie lady it like like with a fucking like fingers covered in gold rings and a nice ass gucci purse and i'm thinking all right this is so Wait, funny because she had a nice ass and a gucci purse or a nice I ass mean, Gucci purse. A nice ass Gucci purse. Okay. Not a, not a nice no. Okay. But no, she. Uh, you know, it's like this this weird group of people, and I'm like, oh man, they gotta fucking hate that they're like kind of promoting weed in this rich ass town through a chiropractic office. But everybody there was for weed. Mm-hmm. Everybody. You could hear the, f- the fucking wall was like cardboard. You could yeah. hear everybody. So can I smoke this in my car? So can I hold it out the window? You know, like. No. And absolutely not. Apparently, to the doctor, it's okay. As mm. long as you show your card, but no, but so so here's a bullshit: eighty dollars to get approved, just to get an appointment, to get approved for an appointment, eighty fucking dollars. So before you're even going into this weird chiropractor's office, yeah, you're dropping eighty dollars. You're dropping eighty dollars. Okay. The appointment got moved like five times, so I'm guessing the doctor smokes a little bit of that product. Sure. Or he's a busy man. Yeah, and uh, he's probably making bank. Here's mm-hmm. the other thing too: Illinois. This this is a bitch. So a requirement is you need four follow-ups a year. So you have to pay eighty bucks four times a year. Uh, what is to, that? To be able to be able to keep that card active, you How know. How much is that? Eighty times. Eighty times whatever. Three hundred twenty. Yeah. That's a lot of 80 money. Eighty times four. That's a lot of money, and you're not even buying the weed yet. So you you need the follow-ups to keep that card active. Mm-hmm. And the first one is a ripoff because it takes. It's every three or four months. It takes Illinois is the slowest state to process it for some reason. That's what the doctor told me. So by, before you get your, like, so I got approved. I got a application that got approved, you know, recommendation. I'm ready to get a card, right? I just got to send it into the uh, Illinois.gov, right? I'm not getting that card until after my first follow-up. So I'm paying another $80. And guess how much the application fee is? 
Two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty. Really? Is it really? It is. I'm Weird. not kidding. Yeah. Huh. All right. Yeah. Two hundred fifty fucking. And that. And you're still not getting the weed. Like, why not just get it? I mean, I'm. I, I feel right now because I want Charles Webb. I'm just gonna find somebody who has it, and have them be my dealer. Right. Who that. So and, and he was telling me supposedly if you're at a job and this is what he told me um and I don't know if it's true but he said that if you, say you get hurt at work you know they drug test you mm-hmm. all you got to do he said there's some weird agreement where anything with medical marijuana is kept completely confidential from everything else because things like getting fired from a job for drugs is federal and all owning a gun is kind of federal, like a FOID card. So if you go to a, so you get hurt at work, you go to get a drug test, and you you test positive for weed. Mm. You give them the medical card, they are obliged to mark it as negative, hmm. and nobody knows about it. So I kept asking, like, well, so I'm just double checking because everybody first they told me that you can't get a card if you have a FOID card. What's a FOID card? A uh, firearms card. Okay. And then I'm like, and then he goes, oh, no, no. that's f- uh, You can't have a conceal and carry, so I can't have a gun with me at all times, like Texas or something, you know? And he's like, well, no, actually, this doctor's like, no, actually, you can have both because they don't hear about you having a medical card. Just keep your mouth shut. So Sure, but this is also the guy that's making $320 off you plus yeah, yeah. the application fee. Yeah, uh, plus what the fucking weed is going to cost. Well, you're not buying that through him. No, no. You, know. you go to a dispensary, and they uh, they also said that the most you can buy weekly is an ounce, which mm. is a shitload. Yep. But uh, and that's why I'm saying I'm just gonna find somebody with a medical card and what? get an ounce of fucking Charlotte's Web. That's what I was gonna do is just get the card and buy an ounce of Charlotte's Web and then never fucking use it again. Why don't sure. you just yeah. do what I do and just go on anti-anxiety? I take two. Oh, uh, because people kill themselves and shoot up schools to that, and they Does get the addicted. Look? The ones I take isn't addicting. No, no, it is addictive. It's proven. Gabapentin and um, bisphenol. I think that's the second one. It's been proven. Okay, let's be honest here. Do you think you're a depressed person? I was before I was on Prozac. Okay, I'm also on Prozac. But you also are incredibly angry. I was. You're not angry anymore. No. You just said "fuck you," Phil, to me like five minutes ago. And I had to force myself to say that. Before yourself, <laughs> yeah. Before you don't, you don't see the difference with my, with my behavior. Dude, I'm not taking pharmaceutical drugs. That's um, uh, that's that's completely like monetary based business. It's sure, and it sounds like this is kind of similar, different, but saying, oh yeah, well yeah, they're know. making it a monetary thing. Yeah, right. yeah. That's why. That's why it's you're fucking pay, stupid that somebody with a medical card can't grow their own shit. You're, pay, sure. you're gonna pay a shitload of the money. The, the well, the doctor also said in two years it's going to be legal recreationally, so yeah. there's no well, fucking. Well, he point. doesn't know that. Yeah, but you know, the, you you know, know. the our new uh, so-called governor and, promised it. And he also said that th- they're still going to have medical cards in two years, but the difference is going to be Illinois is going to have a thirty percent tax on recreational, and it's going to be a two percent on a medical card. Is so that you more than cigarettes? Thirty percent? You don't I don't know. I don't know. But that sounds like a fucking Costco card to me. Yeah. Right. You know? And and apparently it's true because um I had this talk with a stranger and I don't remember where. Honest who was I t- oh the the guy who tattooed me. He said he's from Colorado and it's the same thing out there. Like the whole if you have a card then it's like a fucking coupon or a groupon. I don't know. I wonder it will become less of a process to get medical once recreational is, yeah. like, ratified I'm or sure. whatever. This is well, Illinois, yeah. Illinois, like, because they're desperate for money because we're fucked because there's construction everywhere and in debt. Dude, the first time I tried to get a medical card, an appointment cost $400 just to, just for an appointment with a doctor. Well, that was also how long ago? Like three years ago. So, so you yeah, know, yeah. things kind of change a little bit. Yeah. Also, I don't know. You don't, you, insurance doesn't cover this? No, well, that's I don't a good think question. any insurance covers it, no. Hmm. Sounds like you got to make over six figures before this shit. Yeah, you got to be a yuppie-ass pothead. Yeah. Pretty or, much. Or, you know, just really want it. You can make yeah, that. Yeah. Like, I don't even know. Even when it gets... And that's the same thing at, at like, um, if you get... He was saying you could smoke it in public, and if you get stopped by a cop, you just show the card, apparently. I don't know if this doctor was high. I... 
I don't know. Even with like recreational in Oregon, you can't do that. Yeah. So maybe it's different if it's a medical card. Yeah. I, so you said Oregon's going to try to be the first state legalize uh, mushrooms. mushrooms. Yeah. What is the problem? Because I, what I understood, I never done it, and I probably never will. That it's real. You don't real see people what they make out in the movies. You I see, but like, like lights, I haven't done it. Lights, Bill has lights and stuff. I you can drugs are pretty it powerful. It makes things. Kelly's grandma look really hot. Well, I'm trying to say so no, no, no. That's that's vodka. Okay, it's not as bad as people. That's it's not, a, it's not as bad as uh, like the government thinks it is. I mean, can't you say that about so many things? Yeah. Well, cocaine is bad. It, it says who? The government. Um. If you don't if you don't abuse it, then it's good. What? That's what that's what that's what dare is drug abuse. If you abuse the drug, right. if you abuse video games and become a fucking nerd who shits himself in his sweatpants like and his mouth, like I saw on somebody, right? Right. Are you so talking, what? You know, your so man cave. Your brother. Oh, I thought you were talking about yourself. I don't, oh, I, I, I don't play video games every day. I play like three three times a week. I mean, you, you still shit yourself, right? I, I'm never shit myself. <laughs> Anyway, this is nice. Yeah, right. well, <laughs> nice cheers, Christmas, nice cheers, Christmas cheers, talk. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is right. this is good. Anyway, so wait, what's your deal with cocaine, Ross? You don't. You don't I, like I it? have a problem. I don't have a problem with marijuana personally because I don't. You can't real officially overdose. I think, or I, I, I'm assuming that's the same thing with mushrooms. Have you, have, you, have you ever heard that cop call? Uh, it's it's on a shitload of stoner metal ba- uh, music. Hmm. I heard it on a Dope Throne album, where uh, there was a cop who stole uh, the the person he put in jail for weed possession. He took his the, his brownies, <laughs> and then he took them and he called nine one one. He's like, I don't know what's happening. Please help. Please help. No, tell me, sir. What? Are you, I don't know. I took these marijuana brownies and. I think I'm dying. I think I'm dying. My wife took them. We're both dying. It's horrible. <laughs> and I'd say, oh, it's no. funny as fuck. And that was the cop that yeah, confiscated it, Yeah, the- yeah. It was the cop taking with his wife, and he's like pe- like about to die. You know? Oh, you poor guy. You can even overdose on nicotine. There's people that I, I've been, I just bought a Dual. Yeah. And it's like 59 milligrams of nicotine, which is a lot. And people are overdosing on, on even on nicotine. I guess yeah. you can, I don't understand how. You yeah, just, you get to do it all day or something to get that bad. Yeah, yeah, and put twenty patches on and then vape. Right. And yeah, and do it all like a little, little overstimulating. Well, it's not like you're gonna die from. You just get the shits and you, uh, you get dizzy. So you've tried? No, I did. I read a lot. Oh, I I watch a lot of YouTube. Oh, okay. I should. I can't read very well. Anyways, Bill has lame presence. Request yeah. for cri- really lame presents. What? Ross, what are you asking for for Christmas? Uh, this basic stuff. I asked for a, a new Bears jersey. Nice. Go Bears! Yeah, who's who's your player? Who do you want the jersey of? Uh, Tilly Cohen. Grossman? Rex Grossman? No. Oh. Jay Cutler. I had a Jay Cutler. I gave it away to a co worker. Cade McNown? You, you just will, listen, that'll be a bad quarterback for the Bears. You, you're going to say uh, uh, Jim Miller next? No, why, why, why would I, Jim Miller? No, well, he almost was be. bad. You know? He's like the last real good quarterback we had before uh, the Corey w- Taylor. Fuck Corey Taylor. And Devin man. Hester. He was good. Frank Zappa. Happy birthday. Mm. Right. Rest, rest in peace, brother. Anyway, you want a New Jersey? Mm-hmm. What else? That's all I can remember. Oh. <laughs> we did. Did you? Did any? I didn't. We really asked for anything big. You know, pretty much what I can. I can afford things. You know, I just ask for small things. I don't need that much. We, we, I'm in my thirties. You in your thirties? I'm almost in my thirties. Yeah, it's like we don't need that much anymore. We can just pay. Well. I still do. What do you speak yeah. for yourself, asshole? What's on your Christmas What's list, Phil? Uh, I asked for a tungsten electrode sharpener for my work. Okay. I asked for disguise headphones. For my work. What are disguise headphones? Yeah. They, dude, I can't fucking believe this because I come up with like these great ideas and I'm like, oh man, somebody should invent this and it's actually out there. It's, uh, have you ever seen those safety earplugs that are orange? Yeah. And then they have a blue um, cord with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Where yeah. you put it around your neck so it doesn't fall off. Yeah. Somebody made headphones of those. Nice. And so the boss can't, uh, <laughs> you know, catch him. Yeah, until he's like <laughs> shouting at you and you're like, yeah. what? 
Or I guess I would still work with earplugs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Until he hears the music coming out of it. Yeah. Oh, that's just me singing, right. sir. Ooh, magic no, earplugs. You, you, know, you know, ever since I, I mean, I can update that on work, but my my work situation. But uh, I yeah, I I've been singing out loud ever since they fucking banned my headphones. <laughs> Which is, is that your way of punishing them? Yeah, or or I listen to a shitload of podcasts, so I just pretend I'm on this and I have a conversation with myself. Mm-hmm. And it, I mean, yeah, you're practicing, you're rehearsing. Yeah, right. Before so, I've, oh, go ahead. Before you interrupt, because yeah. you're going to interrupt anyways. Tell no, us, go Ross. Ahead. Go ahead. Tell us, Phil. Go ahead, Ross. Go ahead, Ross. I was going to say, would you like to see High and Fire? No. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not at all. Not if I pay for it. No way. All right. You I s- I seen him like three times and it was really boring. Well, we saw the last time at Masuga. I thought it was pretty good. I um, no, I mean I w- I was there to see Masuga, so I saw them open up for a Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, and I was like, eh, whatever. They w- they yeah. open up for them. Yeah, that that's kind at, of a at, random band at House of Blues. Dude, I've <laughs> been since we've been started being friends ten years ago. I've been trying to get in that band. I I try almost every year. High on I fire? Just, no, uh, but. Black Rebel? Yeah, I just don't understand it. Listen to Howl. Yeah, that's the best. The whole acoustic? Yeah. That's amazing. It's really good. But, uh... It's different. It, does that help why you like it? Yeah. So what else is on your Christmas yeah, list, Phil? Exa- uh, I, I was going to get a custom Death Grips shirt. Okay. Which is, uh... Like, Death Grips doesn't make it, but they have this image everywhere. It's just, uh... You know the black flag bars? Yes. Like the four bars, and they're like not straight with each other. Mm-hmm. They have that, and in the bars is the Seinfeld cast, <laughs> and then it just says Death Grips. Yeah. So I was gonna get a shirt like that. Um, I'm trying to think, what else? A shirt, electrode sharpener, disguise headphones, and and the rest is a surprise. I and guess. a new Bears jersey. Oh, no way. To match Ross. Remember one more thing that I asked for. All right. What was it? External two uh, terabyte external hard drive. Ooh, that's a good one. Because yeah. mine, mine's all filled up with music already. Did, did either of you guys have a really stupid, uh, like work Christmas event at all? No. I had one. It wasn't really stupid though. It was it pretty, was pretty fun. sweet. Yeah, yeah. They, they they did, but uh, it was this cheap ass jewel, so I I didn't care. They just got food and. Yeah, and, and if you're walking, you're walking. You oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Is it just like in the break room? Like exactly. Oh, we just fucking you took some cookies from the yourself. bakery. No, they order pizza, but it's always pretty shitty. It's like frozen pizzas from <laughs> no, the Joel Osco. They from a, from a yeah, we ordered this, and then it's in like Crayola font. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's just you know Italiano's pizza. You know, right? Yeah. The, one of the best, three best things I've met is you, Brad, and Eric. Oh, oh I knew wow, Eric. cool, dude. You know, if I never would work there, I would never met my three. Uh, Close friends right now, so <sighs> dude, yeah, just keep saying hurtful I things. Never, I would never met, met you two. Thank you, thank you. Your fourth closest friend, guy who smokes his cigarette like a faggot, according to you, right? Whoa, whoa, that's, whoa, whoa. That, that's what you thought of Bill. That, 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 that that's a Ross quote. You know, I don't, I don't, it? I don't remember. Did you use that word, Ross? No, I, I said you, you. No, I think I smoked like a bitch. Okay, that and <laughs> all right. Which Fact check. Was a I little, drink? little less yes, hateful, yes, yes, I yes. guess. Was I drinking? You're always drinking, Ross. I'm not yeah, always drinking. Now. I'm worried about you. Eighteen pills and drinking. That's that's how I always remember the Dino Basco. <sighs> you haven't seen Dino Basco in how long now? Six uh, years. Does it? I mean, does in the bedroom count? Always in the babe. dark. Cause, always. Okay. Anyway, tell us about your holiday party, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I forgot what we were even talking about. Holiday parties. Christmas present, no. Uh, we were talking about what's on our Christmas list. I was going to ask you what you got, Kelly, and then you started talking about Christmas parties, so let's finish this off. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll go back to Kelly. I want to know what you got her. But first, I want to know about your work, stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, no, we um we had a catering, um like a Buena Beef type catering. It, w- it wasn't right. Buena Beef, but it was the same shit. You was, know? It, was it good? It was good. Uh, like where you like they have you the rolls and like this fucking tub yeah. of beef for you to make your yeah. own. And a tub of masticholi. Yeah. And a tub of, I don't know why the fuck they had a tub of asparagus. They literally <laughs> threw the whole fucking thing out. Everything you could get the shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything that's going to stink up the bathroom more. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Everything that's going to make another Piss Grave album cover. Does you know? everything give you guys the shits? It's always like, ah, it makes me gas. Oh, I'm going to shit. Bill, like, you're not 30 yet. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's. Apparently. All right. So you had a nice time with your coworkers. Yeah. Well, no, they had a raffle, and they um, I don't know. 
It was, it was like all work shit. How many? Kind of sketch, like, was there an electro sharpener? And you're like, come on, baby, come on, they, baby. They, ha- they had a Uline uh, wagon, <laughs> which is that? it's it's pretty much a fucking like heavy duty radio flyer wagon. Yeah. So work. Uline. What's the point? I don't know. The the, the guy said he's going to use it to walk his dogs. So. In the wagon? Yeah. I can't sure. <laughs> take his dogs around the block. What was he smoking? That doesn't count as a walk. <laughs> Polish sausage joints, you know. <coughs> but, um, and then what else? Somebody won a flannel, like, uh, unpenetrable shirt, you know, for work. All right. Three people won those. <laughs> Matching Th- ones? Three people won the Uline wagon. And then uh, a shitload of people won the, you know, the Contigo, um, you know what that is? Mm-mm. It's those uh, water bottles that are... Uh, Spill free, okay. And then um, does it have like a button? Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. And like the moment you close it, it stops. Yeah. So, and then uh, what else was it? Uh, I'm trying to think. Was oh there yeah, booze? somebody won a a like there's a few bears windbreakers, uh, <sighs> heated blanket of cubs. Really? So yeah, so that's cool. Cheap. I mean, sounds pretty shitty to me. Yeah. yeah. So well, was there alcohol? Were people getting fucked up? Or was no, it no, just no alcohol at all. It's not allowed because all the I machinery and shit. No, they just they're, they're a stingy ass company who are so shitty that everyone's trying to sue them, like me. <laughs> Why are you trying to sue them for? Well, no, because I had a fucking work situation. Uh, th- I've been talking about it on the past episodes, and clearly you're not a fan, Ross. I've what seen, happened, I've seen Ross? Half, I, I watched half of it. All yeah, right? he yeah, watches yeah, at least no. twenty minutes of each episode. No, no, my boss is a fucking dick. Oh, and I had a really funny story about him. No, he he just. Uh, He'd like get mad at me when I don't come in for overtime, when I can't fucking work more hours because of my sleep epilepsy. Like, like I would get, I would. It was in the summer, so there's it's 90 degrees outside, mm-hmm. and it's 120 degrees inside. So I'm coming home shaking and just trying to relax in the air conditioning where, to where I can't fall asleep. Is this a couple of times when I called you and you were kind of in? Co- coherent a little bit is that what that's you're probably, what you mean like yesterday <laughs> no not yesterday i'm just saying that, like you even called me and you didn't realize that like, you called me and sometimes you just seem like you're not aware of things is that i was probably just fucking with you oh okay i, I don't I, know sometimes it, i was worried about you you just seem like you no, i may have been no i may have been incoherent i don't know yeah. i was tired no well i was tired as fuck that's yeah. probably why yeah. because i was working like 60 hours a week mm-hmm. and um so did the italian beef and the mozzarella help things with it helped because I'm on a fucking like ketogenic protein diet. So oh, I yeah, literally just go to town like dude. Five I had, sandwiches. I had no, no, not sandwiches. Two full plates, mounds like a foot high of just beef. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, are, is bread like not allowed in the diet? I yeah, no, so, I don't like bread. I don't like. Oh uh, really? Just in general? I didn't, yeah, d- bread's pure fat. It makes you fat as fuck. Yeah, you know? but it's delicious. I, I mean, I don't know. I but like, you don't. I like like cookies and shit. But sure. But like bread. Like, what about pita? Pita, pita's pita's okay. Yeah, I like pita. Um, I think tacos are better because it's like a thin, thinner. You Interesting. Know? I don't know. Huh. I I I, I b- before this even diet, I just kind of tried to quit bread. Sure. Because it's like adds pounds. So so do you like <clears throat> bread or do you? Like I mean, like gar- I don't, I don't. Honestly, I've came to not like it. It just makes me feel bloated as okay. fuck. It's the same thing as like milk. Maybe it's like gluten or something. I, I recently started uh, getting cans of coconut milk, mm. and you put that as creamer, and you feel gr- like when mm. I used to drink milk with coffee, it just all day you feel like you you want to take a huge shit, but it do- your body won't let you. You know, man, you over thirties have. I'm in for a treat. It sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Well, you, you, you get your body. You know, you, your body so, slowly changes. Though, what do you yeah. get? You know? Plus, sure. I have eaten like shit my whole life. Right. I, I like when people. Di- you know what I heard? I read this article about how like, if you uh you I mean this is kind of like uh, I guess it was slightly controversial because it was kind of like eugenics, like from the area that you cu- that your race comes from, where you sort of it doesn't matter what your race is, but it matters that you stay to a consistent diet. Which is why when you hear people like, oh, older people used to be so much healthier, it's because they usually probably like only ate their heritage food. And me, I like to try a little bit of fucking everything. I'm hmm. the same way. Which is probably what made us makes us fart a shitload yeah. and diarrhea. <laughs> you know, <laughs> especially when it's I so go cultural, up. always farting and shitting everywhere. Yeah. when I go diversity out the ass. That's yeah. right. <laughs> when I visit my sisters in the city, they always take me to you know different restaurants. Yeah. 
and I, I enjoy it, but I fucking... Oh, I got a story about a restaurant. Sorry. Wait. You tell us about how gassy yeah, yeah. and shitty you get. Then I want to go back to what you're getting, Kelly, for Christmas. Okay. Then you got to remind me about a restaurant story. Right. All right. We'll come back to restaurants. Yeah. All right. So how gassy and farty and shitty do you get after your sisters take you out for diverse dinners? Um, Scale from one to ten. It's usually the next day. So, uh, Is it like B-dubs where you like feel like you're bleeding out your ass but the next day? Is that your Buffalo Wild Wings experience? Well, I mean, I always get like ghost pepper, so yeah. Sure, okay. Well, I have a lot of health problems that you guys know, so it's difficult for the say it's the food or it's w- all the shit medication I take. But a lot of times I, I shit medication. It's I'm being serious. No, I am being serious. Are you are you saying you take medication for shitting or it's shitty? It ma- it makes me feel shitty. Oh, Sometimes, okay, okay. Yeah. No, but, I thought but, you what take about like, like physical like poop. Yeah, like, I thought you meant like it, digestive. It has on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can't always tell. So your it, baseline is kind of off a little bit. So you can't yeah. be like, oh, that fucking white castle really. No, I, I don't know. It, it, it's all the medication I'm taking or what I'm eating. But a lot of times I'm uh, very gassy and my shit is all messed up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I didn't know if you meant like sh- right. which shitty. Like I side note, my med- meds for epilepsy, it makes me crave. It like really puts my sodium level down, which is crazy because when I got my blood tested. I mean, dude, I put soy sauce and chicken soup until the whole thing's fucking black, and my sodium level was actually down. Really? Despite having a shit... Like, I put hmm. garlic salt on everything, every fucking thing. Like, scrambled eggs in the morning, then my sa- I, I put it on my sandwiches. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I've, I've experienced your breath before, dude. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Stop fighting, and you it was <laughs> So what are you getting Fuck Kelly for Ross. Christmas, Phil? So, uh, Kelly, oh, yeah, I mean, I... Um, she wanted a old school, uh, you know the the Polaroid cameras. Yeah, she wanted one of those. Do they still make those? They make uh, newer versions of them, and, okay. and they work much better. And they're I, I guess they made them cheaper because they used to be uh, really expensive. So is it like a weird like it's a digital camera, but it has the, like the printout yeah, thing yeah. attached? Yeah, that's it, cool. It, it it looks like a camera. The best way to uh, describe it, it looks like when you watch a National Geographic and they have those cameras that go underwater. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like that's that. cool. Did you get her one? Yeah. Nice. Um, let me think. I got uh, I got every every broad wanted bath bombs. Sure. So I got a bunch of. So bath you bombs. went over the you wash. Those before? They're fantastic. I, yeah, I, I have. have a standing shower, so I can. I don't know. Yeah, that. Yeah. I I I didn't really dig it. I I like like really? Epsom salt, like like just uh, normal shit, I guess. But like no, I had like a fucking candy cane one then like a birthday cake scented one and it's just like i didn't feel anything but i smelled like fucking dessert you know like, <laughs> i don't yeah. know and i and i was afraid i mean i don't know if everybody else anybody else has this problem but i was afraid to pee because i didn't want to get a uti from birthday cake wait in the tub dick hole yeah do you normally pee in the tub when i listen to piss grave sure yeah <laughs> then you just imagine yourself being ball gagged and pooped on yeah, we, you know, pretty much, I, I, I have, like, hip problems right now, and I, I like the, you know, it, when I... As I, in Harlem and Irving Plaza, hip? Let me finish. Okay. And I like to uh, take long showers because it helps my uh, aches and pains. So Do you me. jag off in the shower? No. Do you pee in the shower? No. Really? Oh, dude, that's, that's, everybody lies about that. Everybody pees in the no, shower. No, I respect m- my, my shower. Do you guys shit in the shower? No. Daily. Right, it's my favorite <laughs> I'm the morning one, routine. I'm the one who has to fucking clean it up. <laughs> if I do, peeing is one thing, but shitting, not that. Why? Why do you clean it well, up? We could just blame it on like one of your sisters, man. Right? They don't, they don't live with me. It's they, the niece. They all live in the. You could still blame it on them, though. Um, yeah. You'd be like, God damn it! Look at what she fucking did. She Again. she doesn't even live here, and she just came here to shit in the bathtub. That's how much she hates you guys. The nerve! The nerve! So what, when you guys, when I told you I was gonna be uncle. How, how did that when, make, when what? When, when I right. was going to be uncle. Well, announce it to oh. our listeners. Yes. How, how did I feel about it? Yeah, yeah. I, I would have did. Oh, did you earlier? How did you guys feel? It was like I I used to work at DCFS, yeah. and I felt like contacting them again. Oh, come on. Be honest. No, I, I don't know. I, I'm happy for you, man. Yeah, you know. I'm never going to bring be a, It brings happy and positive love in the family. You know, you I know? have I have Gavin. I have my buddy Brad's, you know. Yeah. My stepson. Um, how Eakin. old is Brad's stepson? Uh, he's the same age as Eakin. How old is Eakin? Who's Eakin? Yeah, who that's the fuck is he? That's Brad's stuff's son. Right, that's why I'm at. How? There's two sons? No, I was talking about Gavin. I, okay. All no, right, I so 
Brad's stepson is the same age as Dude, Phil's stepson. Yeah. I don't know why. But How old is Gavin? As soon as I finish that beer, I'm like really fucked up. Dude, it happens. No, but 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 like the weed didn't kick in. Is it like maybe a slow delay? I don't know. No. That's why I didn't want to smoke it, dude. I know. I I know better. It doesn't do anything. It tastes like grass. But you're and drinking. Ass. You're drinking it in, 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 in grass and ass. So did you bring the crack? Is my next question. Oh. Grass, ass, and crack. Fuck, fuck you, Phil. Well said, dude. I love it when you say that, man. Seriously. So wait, how old is Gavin? He's eleven. He's eleven. Brad's stepson is the same age. He's gonna be eleven in j- January. Okay, okay, great. Yeah. Do you have any stories about a restaurant, Phil? Oh, but yeah, dude. Oh my god. So it was kind of a fucking disaster. <laughs> oh no. We had a um. Me and Kelly had an anniversary. But but it's like, dude. See, okay. So is there a fucking rule? Like, if you're getting married, doesn't that anniversary change? Yes. To when you're married? It's yeah. The day, it's the day you get married. Uh, or maybe I was just trying to be. I know, you know people that celebrate money. both. Uh, Sorry. I don't have enough money to celebrate. <laughs> sure. But anyways. You don't need to have money to celebrate. You just need each other. Yeah, yeah. Right, Ross? You got to stop, you know, making. You I got to take her to a piss grave show. That's right, you do. You, well, you, do you po- progress your <laughs> money? Do I pray towards what? Your money. It's like. No, no, absolutely not. Maybe you start, you know, doing that because it seems like. No, but I try to not have my head in my ass and buy trampolines with it. Yeah, sure. Well, that's your brother. I'm just saying, like I wasn't talking about him. I was just that was just a f- uh. figure of speech. Okay, right? Yeah, the old the, the old the, saying. Yeah, you like, never heard of people buying trampolines <laughs> for no fucking reason? Yeah, go no, buy a, I have Go buy a trampoline. <laughs> Maybe a pool <laughs> table. Actually, love a pool table. You know, you, table, you, know you know, it's a fucking fucking story. He got it because he goes on it with his best friend, and one of the first memories he has of when. So I was a fucking cocksucker when I moved from the sh- from Chicago to the suburbs. You know. And when I was at the Burbs, when I got kicked out of high school, they had a parole officer who used to pick me up and drive me to like a anger management type school. You sure. Know? You never told me you went to an anger management school. It was I, what, what is it called? The uh, North Cook or whatever. Oh sure. It yeah. was it was that plus like a yoga teacher. But so um. Any, wait, wait, North Cook is the school for like the behavioral. Yeah, like, yeah. The bad kids. Yeah, I was like the only one there who wasn't like an M M&M and M. Want to be a white kid was who wants to be a? Was it in Edison? Hmm? No, no, it was in. Uh, I went to a behavior. It was by Tiffany's restaurant. I, I went to a behavior school myself, but because I didn't have anywhere else to put me, I was there for five months, and then I went to another school. So, but uh, I mean, a- anyways, they um. So you were going to you and the parole yeah. officer going to the school? Yeah, yeah, and and um, he was used to coming over <laughs> because my ma would call the cops all the time for me yelling at her. Sure, and they're just like. All right, yeah. Miss Liseki, yelling is not illegal, and you were the first one yelling, so they just stopped coming over after a while. But <laughs> but they but they would literally, cause cause okay, let's be honest, there's a fucking privilege of being a woman in in a situation like that. They think you know, oh, the man got out of control, so they would cuff me. And the funny thing was, like, one of the first memories of being there, he went over to his friends, Matt, and they're on the trampoline. Wait, the the cop. No, no. My brother okay. went over to his friend's man, and they're on his trampoline, and they're like, oh, like every time they jump over the fence, your brother's getting handcuffed. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, I, I don't know. I thought it was kind of... Does it hurt when you get handcuffed? Because some people... I it does. It, get, it gets tight, right? Yeah, it gets pretty tight. Is, is that... Be, on both, they do well, it on well, they fucking cuffed me when I was having a seizure and pulled a Rodney King on me. So I don't know if they pulled a Rodney King on you. I don't know the, what, what's a Rodney well, King. Well, I wasn't tan enough at the time. Sure, and you're still alive. Oh, they no, they didn't kill him. Uh, didn't he go to court? I'm pretty sure they like killed him. No, it's, no? look no, it here. up. It Doesn't is. matter. We got to Google it. Google it, Ross. Right. Hurry. Okay, Not Google. Faster was that. Rodney King killed? Let's. See. Okay. So he died in 2012 of accidental drowning. So they didn't kill him. Or maybe they waited until 2012 to kill him. Well, no, no. I, you don't remember? Uh, it's like in the beginning of a Tupac video where he's just, uh, you know, why can't we all just get along? Sure. That, so that, that was like they after beat the him, but not to death. Yeah. Which so is, they beat you, but not yeah, to death. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And and they put cuffs on me while I'm having a seizure, to where I got scars on my wrist to this day, and yeah. Why didn't you sue them? 
Be, no, I tried. I, I meant to. I mentioned this before, but they uh they they said there's no witnesses because they threw my ma out of the fucking basement. They threw John say nothing out of the basement, and they beat the living shit out of me. And then the ambulance showed up, and my fucking teeth are cracked. I got I got 14 stitches on my head. There's scratches and cuts all over me because they threw me into a mirror. So I you never told me about this story. Yeah, this happened to me in high school. How old were you? I was 16 or 17. Would that be considered child abuse? Yeah, that'd be considered really fucked up, which is yeah. not a new thing for police departments. But was it as fucked up as you and Kelly's anniversary? Oh, I mean, uh, that's a whole other story. So Kelly recently got obsessed with uh, <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, she's been watching a lot of Hell's Kitchen. So we went to uh, December 5th, which was the anniversary. We were going to go to... I didn't even... like. I don't watch any of that shit. <coughs> I can't take him seriously after seeing a Gordon Ramsay episode or, or, or his parody on South Park. And um, I guess they, one of the one of the episodes he like, or maybe it was Food Network. They recommended. Have you ever heard of Oven Grinder in yes. Chicago? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they recommended that. So, dude, this fucking place is. The, I'm not. I am not exaggerating. It is the size of my basement, basement if not smaller. Okay. And I actually watched the podcast on two cooks who say they do that purposely to manipulate the market because the smaller it is, the more time the chef has to work on the stuff, and that way it's like a classier and much more like good dinner. Was it hmm. decent food? We never went because the average wait time, no matter what time you're there, if you're there opening at noon to fucking night, three-hour wait. Really? Three hour fucking, and they don't take reservations and they only take cash. So we showed up at, uh, we showed up downtown. Um, I forgot what it's close to. I'm trying to think. But it's a really, really rich ass area because every fucking restaurant there, it was like. Gold, Gold Coast? It might be Gold Coast. It That's was, oh, it's by a famous hotel, not the Drake, something else. I don't know. The Hampton Inn. <laughs> no, but, um, a- anyways, we went there. We put our name on the list, and they're like, yeah, three-hour wait. And then, like, I read reviews online where they're like, oh, we waited three hours, but then we actually had another hour added, and it was already, like, fucking eight, and they closed at one. So I'm like, mm. fuck this, and we went to a different restaurant, which was as good. I mean, it's like, have you ever been well, to- maybe you haven't had oven grinders, so. Yeah, yeah, but- What's the we- what's the restaurant <clears throat> called w- w- you were talking about the size of it. What, what was it called? Oven grinder. I, oven grinder. Or is it like yeah. Chicago pizza and grinders? Or is that yeah, else? yeah, Chicago's something oven grinder. And and I guess I don't know. Kelly heard about it on Food Network. I guess they sure. make like a bowl that's like hamburger meat and shit. I don't know. Yeah, we never went, so I can't judge. But uh, according to what I've read, is like it's like Little Caesars. <laughs> Amount, but it t- dude, it's like fucking fifty dollars a pizza, and it's a mm-hmm. personal pizza. That so means it's, it's small, right? Yeah, it means like a you know personal pizza at Pizza Hut. No, I don't. It's like a one person pizza. It's like yeah. eight inches. It's the size of a tortilla. Pretty yeah, much. yeah. And so, where did you guys wind up? I forgot what it was called, but Little it was Little Caesars. Maybe like a, I think it was like a Montes or something, but it was like the same thing. It was like you know wood oven pizza. And, I, 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 and I, I, we spent the same amount of money. It was like a hundred dollars, but there was no weight at all. Sure. So, and we had some sweet. It was like everything was Italian there: Italian wines, Italian beers nice. only. You took wine? Oh, uh, you guys uh, appreciate wine at all? I mean, it's yeah, it's okay. It's like uh, I'm not nuts about it, but yeah, yeah, so, I'll drink wine. They had like a orangina did, type uh, wine. It, it is, uh, yeah, I did. I had that rosé at the Halloween party. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen a wine in a 40 before. <laughs> what a wonderful world. Right? They they, they sell what, wine what, in cans now. What was that, like, whiny uh, beer that they used to have? Uh, the whiny beer. Or that, like, juicy beer? What the fuck was it called? They used to have it in, uh, in like, when we were in high school. I forgot what the fuck. It, they don't have it anymore. It was, like, a colored liquor that was in, like, 40s. I don't Fuck, know. man, it's on the... Edge I'm like, Mike's Hard? Like Not Mike's Hard. Uh, Seagram's Escapes? No. no, they don't Like they don't have it anymore. Hmm. Something else. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Kind of, yeah. Ross, you like wine? No. My, 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 everybody else in my family does. I was at wine custody for my sister's wedding, and yeah. 
the, the, the average wine bottle that they were serving was sixty to over a hundred dollars. And when I was having it, it was like they were saying everybody how amazing this wine was. To me, this tastes like wine. I didn't see what the big deal is. Sure, but when when I drink beer, you know the, the expensive beer, I can tell it, it's good. Yeah, so, so you I should don't, taste Zach's beer. Are, is there some? No, no, I don't have no. Man, I wish he's saying. he makes his own beer. Yeah, yeah. he does. Is it, what what kind is it? He has made to me. It tasted like a natural version of like Bud Light, which yeah. is but that. But that's really good for like your first attempt. What did he make? Like an English pale ale? Yeah, I think. Then he was working on an Oktoberfest, and then he kind of like started it too late, so he called it a Mocktoberfest. And then now it's not like going really well, so he's calling it like a Nottoberfest. It's it's yeah, funny. I, I would do something like that. Is just like, why don't you? Because I, I, I'm afraid I'm gonna waste money, and it doesn't turn out though, like I want. Quit making excuses. You should Ross. have a meth lab you in like your basement. You need to get out there, put yourself out there. Risk is a part of life. All right. I don't make a lot of money. I, you know, you know, you live in this house. You live by. You, I work at fucking Joe Osco. Uh, Eleven bucks an hour. No, and you receive an allowance, and you and receive. Disability. Yeah, so you know he's really good for taking money for getting money is uh, taking surveys online and lying about them. Ooh, there you go. I'm serious. That's how half I my Christmas sh- presents were bought. I seen that shit on YouTube. Those yeah, yeah. No, uh, valuedopinions.com. Oh, okay. You, you, you. So what I did, because this is the type of crowd they're looking for, I put that I'm. A black Hispanic veteran, which <laughs> sure. gives you the most surveys. Male or female? Uh, I put male. Okay. And then I put that I, I, everything, you know, I put like a middle class, you know, mm-hmm. which is their target audience. And I did, I, I mean, you know how much shit, all the patches I got on my metal hoodie are through surveys money. Which I absolutely love. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and each one, I mean, I, each time, the thing that's a bitch is you have to, um, you have to make twenty dollars at least to get a reward. That's the minimum. Okay. So and and you can get a Amazon. Well, how much is it like per, per survey? Yeah, like F- a nickel. Like fifty cents to a, the biggest one I got was four dollars. Okay. And I mean, it says, "Oh, this will take two hours," but not if you're skipping through really right, quick. Right. You know? <laughs> like, just click and sh- sure. It's totally gonna fuck up our future. You know? Right. Like, I mean, no, it's gonna fuck up their marketing. And their products. Well, no. Some of them, some some of the surveys are like, "What do you think of this president? How do you think he's doing?" Some of them are like election based or like policy based. It's not all uh, products. Oh, really? Yeah, That's yeah. interesting. So, but still, doesn't matter. So, what does this black Hispanic veteran think of Trump? You know? <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, he's great. Oh, he, <laughs> he 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 looks good and he sounds good and he's very very smart. You know, Mr. Trump. Good news. <laughs> yeah. You're ranking very highly with the black Hispanic. Veteran males in urban settings in the middle but, middle class. But I I got like three of my presents through uh, taking those surveys. Nice, so. got that. Plus, there's an app that you can put on your phone and you just keep clicking through. Some of them are tricky though, because right. like like in the middle of the test, like it'll be like all multiple choice, and mm-hmm. then like question twenty three out of sixty, there's a video of like it's the same shit every time. It's a panda taking a shit in a cage, and then it says, "What did you see?" And then it's like a plane, a car, oh. a panda taking a shit in a cage, you know. And, but but then I always mess that then, one and, up. And then the next question is, what did you hear? And it'll be like a dolphin, a person yelling, because they play. They don't a play panda the, taking a shit in a cage. No, no, no. They they play different audio for the video. Interesting. So and what was that website again? Valuedopinions.com. Yep, valuedopinions.com. Quick shout out to another one of our sponsors this week, valuedopinions.com. Oh, yeah. Check them out. Ross, I recommend you check it out so your dreams of being a brewmaster can finally come to fruition. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, my God. You're so enthusiastic. And, no, no other news with anybody? I think... Uh, Any current events go- or break time? Yeah, I think we take a quick break, come back, then we can talk about... News, updates, announcements. Yep. I don't know if anything can, can compare to Ross being an uncle. That's pretty I, I, exciting. I am so fucking excited, you know. It's no words how happy I am. You know, it's my twin sister too, you know. So, you well, know. What if she has twins? It's, it, it's just one. one. Oh. And it, it usually skips a generation. Man, all right. That's good to know. Yeah. You're learning a little bit about science and When are you going to have a kid? It's never going to happen. Why? I don't want 
Oh, come on. I don't, it, we'll talk about this after the break. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. If I if I we're want too deep right now. Yeah, yeah, we are. You know, or maybe I just have to go to the bathroom. Well, one one of them. Let's just keep prolonging the day. Like <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I don't have to go that badly, but you yeah. know. Don't do that. <laughs>